Yeah. Darko from Slovenia. Ben Clark is in here. Oh man, let's go. Tim Adamson, baby. We got some lunges for you. Ugh. Oh yes. <laughs> and all of a sudden you see Tim Jet. <laughs> and he's gone. Yes. Hey, real quick, guys. So I was just uh, saying this on IG real quick before we get started. So this is a minimal equipment workout. You can do it completely body weight, by the way. Okay, I'll have modifications for everything, but but it will be helpful if you have either a band, because we're gonna do some band pull-aparts or posterior flies. I'll give you guys a, a variation of it. <laughs> Tim said I'm out. And but if you don't have that, something that weighs about five pounds, right? So you could have like two books, two water bottles, uh, something like that, right? Because we're gonna do some. You guys already know, like there's been a ton of push-ups, a ton of everything. We want to do some pulling work, want to do some upper back stuff to level it out. So if you have that, that would be fantastic. And also, if you have like a dumbbell or kettlebell, like one of the density stations is gonna have um, is gonna have that. But if you don't, it's okay because we're gonna modify it anyways. But trust me, today we're in for a fantastic mix of some explosive stuff and some density stuff, and you're gonna love it. All right, team, let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Coffee and bangs. Jeez. All right, guys, so here's the deal. So we're going to get warmed up thoroughly. All right, we're going to get thoroughly warmed up and probably a little bit longer than usual. Like, look, we've, you know, everybody kind of been stuck indoors. At least most people have been stuck indoors for the last two weeks. You start doing a lot of these, uh, I would say, challenges and, and body weight stuff. And you got to make sure you're doing your mobility. So we're going to take a little extra time to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start. Doing some neck carves, okay? So yes. imagine that I'm just standing nice and tall. I'm putting my arms down. Think about my pinky is going to like try to reach and touch the ground, right? So I'm reaching and touching the ground with my pinky. So it's, I'm lengthening it, okay? I'm squeezing my butt, squeezing my abs. I'm nice and tall. Oop, that's going to see where I'm right in the middle. All right, now my chin is going to go down and touch my chest. From here, I'm gonna go chin to my shoulder, chin to the ceiling, and then back to my shoulder, and around. I'm not, so what I'm trying not to do is compensate and reach back, right? Everything is coming from my neck. So I'm gonna go to now, to the side, to my shoulder, up, other shoulder, tuck it, and back. And notice that I'm, Continuously trying to make my arms get long. And what you're going to do is you're going to feel that front of your neck getting a stretch. If you're feeling it in the back, you want to stop before you feel it. Okay? So we want that open joint in the front, not back. And you'll notice your neck will start feeling better. It helps with the shoulders too. Draw those circles with the chin. Draw that big circle with the chin. One more. Oh, that feels good. All right, so this is, these are great drills for every morning, by the way, guys. Great for shoulder health, for neck health. Second one that we're gonna do, we're gonna do shoulder blade cars, right? So watch, this is the kicker. First of all, my hands are not straight, they're about 45 degrees out. And what I'm gonna do, as you guys see me from the side, is I'm going to, once again, squeeze my butt, squeeze my abs, get nice and tall, and then I'm just going to put my, push my shoulder blades forward. Imagine that I'm pushing something with my hand here, and I'm reaching just with my shoulder blades. Then I'm going to shrug up, elevate, pull it back as far as I can, and then pack it down into my pocket. I'll, I'll do it faster. We're going to do a slow control. So forward, up, back, and down. The whole time, I have to keep... So what I'm not trying to do is like, as I'm doing this, I have all this body language in my low back. Everything's coming from the shoulder blade, okay? And you might not get a lot of range of motion, just do your best, okay? So arms are gonna come out, squeeze our butt, abs on, and push forward as far as you can, but don't let your body tilt forward. Now we're gonna shrug up as high as we can and pull our elbow, should I say, shoulder blades back and then down into our pockets. Okay, forward, further, 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 reach for it, up, back, and down. And again, more, get more range, more range, more range, more range, and up, 
back and down. Again, if you feel anything in the shoulder, find that space. Like, don't have your arms in. Have them out a little bit more. Keep pushing out, 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 out. Remember, keep your abs on, but tight. And back and down. Let's do a couple more. Two. Up. Back. And down. Last one. Forward. Up. Back. And down. And shake it off a little bit. Woo. There you go. You guys will see, like, when we do this stuff, you'll feel better. All right, we're going to do rotations now. So this is important. I'm going to kind of think of if I'm standing on toilet paper, imagine that I'm trying to rip that toilet paper apart. All right, so that's going to give me some torque on the floor. Like if my abs are still tight, I'm going to get put my thumbs into my chest. And now I'm going to rotate and exhale. And then point at chest. You're the best. All right, and come back. And then I'm gonna rotate, exhale. Or the cam. You're fucking awesome. All right, bring it back. So what we're trying to make sure your hips are not rotating. Watch, I'm exhaling. And pointing and looking at my hands. And again. Try to get more range every time. Do not let your hips rotate. You'll see, you might get some snap, crack, and a pop in your back. Nice little adjustments. You got to give these guys props. These guys are running virtual classes all week, including me, doing a workout. So we're somewhat sore, perpetually. <laughs> but I'm leaning out. <laughs> They're asking me to not do any Bulgarians, but that's not going to happen. Rotate. And one more per side. See you getting more range. Last one. And back. All right, we're going to work on some spine stuff, just standing spine stuff. So I'm going to show you this one from the side, OK? I'm going to do it this side. So watch. Imagine that I'm going to tuck my chin, and then every one of my vertebrae is going to round. So every one is rounding, rounding, rounding. And I'm coming down, touching the ground. And now I'm going to roll up for my low back. So now I'm going to. Extend the vertebrae one by one, one by one, one by one, and get nice and tall. Right? So it's like I'm curling up. Okay? So everybody just start, like I said, think about every one of your vertebrae in your back. We're going to go tuck the chin and start rolling down each one, each one, each one. Ah, touch. Right? Feel that stretch. Now we're going to come up and out of that low back, roll every one of those. Discs back up to, to nice and tall and neutral, and once again, this should feel really, really good. Right? This is like very recuperative, right? Tuck that chin. Some of you guys are gonna want to go to sleep and be done after this, but that's not gonna happen. Roll them down. Try to get a little more range. Breathe out. Be relaxed. Don't, don't be, don't hold tension. Okay, and we're rolling back up out of it. Whoa, so it's fantastic. Let's do one more. All right. Tuck the chin, rolling every vertebrae. And roll out of it. Nice, shaking it off. All right, we're gonna do, this is an old little Steve Maxwell drill. Love Steve, and uh, why? Wow, so what we're gonna do is, it's kind of like almost kind of old school toe touch, but I'm gonna turn to the side, watch. I'm gonna turn to the side, I'm gonna drop, and then just come across, draw the rainbow, and then come back up. And then I'm going to go other side. Drop down, sit into my hip. Slowly kind of come across and come back up. Breathe out. And breathe in. All right, you guys should be doing it, Donna. Let's go. <laughs> Trust me, she'll be great. Couple more, drop it down. And these, like I said, guys, obviously there's a lot more of these, uh, but these are drills that are great for just kind of like waking you up, right? You'll feel looser and better after this, okay? All right, let's start putting some multi joint stuff together. We're going to start down on the floor. 
We're going to go into our shin boxes with 90s. So remember, shin box, we're in this position, and we're going to go into a tie sit. There's a lot of different names for this, but the key, the key here is I'm going to push from the bottom of my, so front of my knee, bottom of my knee, and keep my abs on and think really tall, and I'm going to slowly, watch, push myself. Here's the kicker. Don't try to use momentum for this, right? Abs on, I'm using my hips, slowly coming up. Right? I squeeze my butt, abs on, nice and tall. Right? That's going to be something I keep repeating. Then we're going to go down slowly. Slow, 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 slow. Okay? And then we're going to switch our hips to the other side. Okay? Switch it to the other side. Now I'm going to drive back up. Slow. Squeeze, butt, abs, tall. All the time. And the key is, like, as I'm going down slow, notice that last portion, how slow I go. Slowly touch the ground. Okay, I'm just having some, some moments right there. And we're switching, right? So you guys are going to keep repeating that. We're going to go drive up, squeeze, hold for a second, control down, control down, control down, slow, and switch. Right? The most important part here is the control. Both on the way up, slow, you're going to really feel your hips. And on the way down, look at, try to be vertical. So I'm not trying to lean over, I'm trying to be vertical. Control, 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 control. Okay, and we're switching. All right, these guys are gonna do a couple more. Let's keep my eye on them. You guys are doing a couple more as well. Just the back to the ground. Let's go. One more good job, and control, control, control. Nice patty step, right? Patty could at any point in time, I heard I heard that clip. <laughs> patty could at any point in time pull out his paintball gun and start shooting people. You never know. <laughs> When he doesn't like this workout, he could pull out that paintball gun and shoot. <laughs> and break. All right, guys, next thing we're going to combine. We're going to combine a number of things. And we're going to stay on the same side. So we're going to do a Spider-Man lunge. But what we're going to do is, in my Spider-Man lunge position, okay, so we're going to stay here. The back knee is going to be locked out, not, not on the ground for this one. So I'm going to punch my heel out, okay? I'm punching my heel out, and I'm driving my knee forward. So I'm really trying to separate my hips here, okay? So from there, we're going to do the lizard. So the lizard is when I reach and rotate all around and look at my hand, and then I'm going to come back in. Okay, now from the, the second part of this is hands are going to be down, and I'm going to drive my butt up and extend my front leg so I get a big hamstring stretch. And then I'm going to come back down and do the same thing again, right? Nice and tall and lizard. Come back in, knee comes down, and boom, stretch. And again, extend, right? And every time we're trying to get more weight. And we're doing it on one side only, guys. One side only. Okay? We're going to go for a minute on this. Ready? Set. Let's go. So the key is thinking long spine. So when you're looking at Cam right there, thinking constantly like the crown of her head to her, her sacrum pretty much is extending, is getting nice and long. So you don't want to be crunching down. You want to think like somebody's pulling you by a string. And you have that long, long spine, right? Try to get that toe up. Try to get that toe up on a hamstring stretch. All right, so don't keep it flat. Try to get it up. That way you get the big stretch on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We love, like, mobility combo exercises, especially, like I said, if you're short on time. You want to get a great warm-up and hit everything. Okay, these are great. All right, these are great. And what we're going to do is we have 15 more seconds on this side, and we're going to switch sides. All right? We're going to switch sides. Good job, guys. Make sure you rotate that upper back. So as you're reaching, rotate that upper back. Open up that chest. Three, two, one, and switch the sides. Good job, guys. There we go. Every rep, every rep, you're trying to get more range of motion. You got to remember that on warm-ups, warm-ups are not like, just going through the motions. You're practicing quality movement. Right, that's what's really, really important to understand. You're practicing quality movement. So guess what? Like, you're gonna fall to the lowest level of your training, which means you should practice in detail. You should have excellence in your movement when you practice. And warm-up's a great opportunity to get a lot of great reps in. Right, so we don't wanna get sloppy with it, guys. Pay attention, be intentional, be excellent with every single rep. 25 more seconds inside. Keep that spine nice and long, guys. There we go. Flatten out that back, side good. Reach there. Remember what we were doing with the shoulder blade? That's what you do with the lizard. When we were doing this, it comes out 
And then we look at it and we reach, we reach, reach all the way around, moving that upper, I'll say upper chest, that upper back is rotating there, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and break. I've right, got two more drills. I'm right, gonna do a squat to stand, squat to stand, that's just all, especially because we're gonna be squatting in today. So remember, squat to stand, we're gonna hook our toe. All right, so I'm going to, yeah. Clean ball's about to be coming, about to be coming. All right, so we're gonna hook our toes, okay? And remember, I wanna pull, like I wanna create tension on my toes, why? I'm not just grabbing, I'm like legitimately pulling them like they're a heavy bar, and I'm pulling myself down into that squat position. And at the bottom, I'm pushing my knees out, so I'm pushing my knees out, okay? I'm getting my chest nice and tall, ripping my clavicles apart, okay? Standing here at the bottom a little bit. I even like to pry the hips, like, sh like shift left and right. It's also good for when you go to the club, you can grab it, you already know, okay? And then I'm gonna come back up, still pulling on my toes. I feel the hamstrings, I feel the stretch. And for some of you, you might be able to go up all the way. For some of you, you might have to have more bent knee. If you have tight hamstrings, you're gonna pull back down and notice, right? I'm nice and upright. I'm using my knees to create that good posture. So what you want to have is butt close to the floor, head as close to the ceiling as possible. All right, let's get it ready, guys. One minute. Three, two, one. Extra reps. That's it. Let's go. So kicker is at the bottom. You don't want to be crunched over. These two, so these are clavicles right here. These two, you want them to move away from each other, right? You want them to move that way, and now all of a sudden you have this good posture. It's actually a great tip for even when you're standing and doing any type of work, right? Make sure the clavicles run away from each other. Oh, look at that, right? Long spine, good posture. Every rep, guys, try to get better range of motion, deeper into that squat, butt slower to the ground, head is closer to the ceiling, like long spine, right? Like I said, I'm giving that funny look there. Les is already giving that funny look. Woo. I don't know. All right, we got 15 more seconds on this, guys. Every rep, remember, try to get deeper, push the knees out, get nice and tall, be intentional about it. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, last one, we're gonna work in some balance. I feel like every time we do team training, we do groups, we do some type of drill that's gonna improve proprioception of the foot, the hip, create stability, most people don't work on it. It's also what, if you don't have stability, your brain will not allow your body to produce as much force as possible, right? Because if you're standing on one leg and if you're like, why would your brain allow you to create as much force as possible? It's not safe, right? So if we're able to get the stabilized foot, hip, right, just stability of the pelvis, you're gonna actually be able to produce more force that you already have, right? So just a little trick right there. I say trick, it's not a real trick, it's just science. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go and start, I'm gonna give you that side position. Our knee is gonna be high, and we're gonna keep driving it, right? So this is the active drill. So if I'm trying to push my knee down, I resist, okay? So I'm actively pushing my knee up, hold for two, three seconds. Now I'm gonna go down into my airplane position, RDL, I'm gonna feel my whole foot, I'm gonna feel my hamstring, I'm gonna feel my butt. If you guys wanna do a little airplane and feel you know, like during a Titanic or some shit like that. That's cool. And then we're gonna come back up, right? And once again, we're gonna drive. And we're gonna do that. Keep my back knee locked out. So we wanna avoid this. We wanna keep it nice and tall. Think tall, three seconds. So we're gonna hold three seconds on each side. And we're doing just one side, guys. Your foot's gonna get tired, but that's okay. Okay? All right, let's get it ready. Just one side, guys. One minute, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's see. Oh yeah, baby. Going strong right here. We got people from Poland. We got people from the Philippines. Fantastic, guys. Oh yes. Now don't focus on me. Focus on what we're doing, guys. All right, so notice, you wanna keep that back knee locked out. So if you're here with the knee up and you got a bent bottom knee, push it away, right? We want that straight leg and driving that knee. This is gonna be hard for a lot of you guys, right? Which, which is why we're working it. Right, warm-ups are also a good time to work on weaknesses and clean some stuff up. That's why I talk about the intentionality of movement, right? How intentional you want to be about it. Not just go through the motions, but get better. We got 15 more seconds here. When I can, punch that heel out. So when she's in that RDL, 
punching that heel out, driving it out, right? So she has that nice straight line, everything activates. Drive that knee up actively. Hold that position, five, four, three, two, one, and break, shake it off. Other side, so it's the, at least the last one of mobility stability drills. Ready, set, and let's go. Pay attention, guys, pay attention to the difference between your left and your right sides. Okay, you'll usually notice that like, whoa, why is one side way tougher than the other side? All right, that's something to pay attention to and obviously something you wanna work on. I just like to do like a two to one or a three to two ratio. So if, some, if one side is weaker or not as stable, do twice as many or at least like a three to two ratio of these drills, right? You wouldn't e make them equal. You'd work on the one that's, that's uh, not as good form, okay? 25 more seconds. This is a smooth drill, right? So it's not meant to be, you know, really move fast from one side to the other. It's control, control, control. Feel my whole foot. Punch that heel out. Feel stable. Feel my big toe, little toe, heel, and nice and control, right? There's a saying, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. You can't go fast if you can't go slow and control first. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right, shaking off. We're just gonna do two drills to kind of get the CNS warmed up a little bit because then the first part of today's workout is fast, it's explosive, right? So we're gonna be ramping that up anyway. So first drill, we're gonna go wide out drops. So imagine my feet are close together here, okay? Feet are close together and I'm gonna drop down into squat, Tap, touch and go. So this is it's quick, right? So notice at the top, it's almost like I'm like, oh shit, what's up, right? Like, right? But it's really not, that's the drill. So we're gonna go feet close together, wide out drop, boom, touch and go, touch and go. All right, 20 seconds, ready, set, let's go. Try to stay upright, so imagine there's a wall in front of you, so we're not dropping this way, we're dropping vertical, right? Get your eagle on, girl. You'll know what that is. You gotta go way back for some video. Four, three, two, one, and break. All right, last one, high knees, which is gonna be part of the drill, but we're just gonna go to about 50, 60%. Just really get a smooth cadence. So if you watch me from the side, I'm gonna move from my shoulder. So we wanna avoid this, right? That's some dance shit again, you know? But we wanna go from the shoulder, right? So imagine like my thumb is at my nose and this is a pistol in my pocket. When I run, I switch, I switch, I switch. I switch, so my high knees, okay? Now it's how you move, so we get that Serapi effect, okay? So, we're gonna go for 15 seconds, actually 20, we'll ramp it up in three, two, one, let's go. So just having that good quality movement here. Ramp it up a little bit, let's go. Remember, move from that shoulder. Ah. Ramp it up a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. All right. Everybody get a quick sip of water. 60 seconds. We're back here. Then we're going to explain the first part of the workout. All right? Let's go, baby. It's about to, it's about to get spicy in here. Don't judge me. This is my hydration. Bang, bang. Don't judge me. Bang, bang. I know you are. You need water. They're ground. All right, guys. So listen up. I'm gonna start explaining this first part. So obviously, after dynamic warm-ups. We got our nervous system going a little bit. You guys are probably a little out of breath. Joints are feeling better. We're gonna do the most intense and explosive stuff first. Now, this is gonna be around 12 to 15 seconds only. What's very, very important is the intent of this has to be either fast and or powerful, okay? So you can't just go like 60, 70%, like you gotta go all out on this, okay? So we're gonna go do four exercises and we're gonna go through twice. So we're gonna do about 15 seconds of work, really, really intense work, 
and then we're going to have a 45 second break. We may even start cutting the rest breaks down, or should I say, we might start cutting the work down to 12 seconds as we go into round two. Because I want to make sure that you guys stay fast and explosive. Okay? For the first drill, all you need is a little bit of space because we're going to do lateral slides. So imagine, like I said, if I have two imaginary cones, I would just go a couple of steps, touch the cone, right? Touch the cone, touch the cone, touch the cone, right? And I'm only going, so like I said, 15 seconds, explosive as possible. And then we break, right? And at the beginning, you're going to be like, oh, this is not too bad, right? But we're training a different energy system, okay? As fast as you possibly can. This is that survival shit, right? Number two, squat jumps. Now, when we do squat jumps in circuits for 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 30 seconds, you jump high, but you can't be as intense. When you're only doing it for 12 to 15, it should be maximum. Like every, right, you might get like six, seven, eight reps. Every one of them, as high as you possibly can, okay? Number three, high knees. We just did it, okay? We just did it, but you really have to think about that analogy of if you were running for your life and it just happened to be on the spot, <laughs> that's what I want you to do, right? All out intensity, you're punching the ground away. That's your thought process, right? When you're here, I want to punch the ground below me. Don't think drive the knee high. Think punch the ground, okay? And those arms are punching. 15 seconds all out. Number three, number four, you'll see, Jess will do a really quick uh, drill on this. Now they have hurdles. You don't need a hurdle. We just give them something to think about, right? So something external to have a cue. And so she's gonna go side to side as fast as possible. So imagine if she took her shoes off and I just put a whole bunch of, you know, Tony Robbins firewalk hot coals on the ground and she was just like, oh shit, right? That's what you wanna do for, for 15 so seconds. What'd you say? Uh, it's good if you have it. Right, so they, you don't need, nobody needs it. The thing is, they have hurdles because if they want to jump higher, it's going to give them some more, I would say, gravity, and obviously you're going to a little more force. Your call. But if you have something to jump over, great. You can put like a book vertical. You can put something else. You know, put something you're not going to bust your ass on, and then you can try to hit me up and go like, what are you doing? All right, so remember, if it's higher, pretend that there's a higher uh, hurdle. Here. Actually, I'll feel camp real quick. Right, so you can either go, if you're jumping over high thing, touch, 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 right? I'm trying to leave the ground as fast as possible, okay? And we're gonna hit that for 15. Or if, if you're going low, right, if you're going low, now we're going, right, oh shit, okay? So it's the elasticity of the muscles. We're ramping it, we're going, we're going fast as possible, okay, but short duration. So with that said, we're gonna go that, through that twice, guys, so it's eight minutes, okay? Four exercises, going through it twice. We got 30 seconds before we start. So you guys are doing it with me, meaning, I'm not even doing very coaching here. You can see, I know. All right, so remember, first, lateral slides. Pretend like you're guarding me in basketball. I know there's no way that you can do it, but at least <laughs> try to stick with it, right? So really, really fast lateral slides. Stay low, guys, you gotta stay low and athletic. Get it ready. Go to five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, stay low, stay low, touch you go, touch you go, touch you go, touch you go. Nice, lean. Lean the opposite way of where you're going when you stop. Come on, let's get it, 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 guys. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and break your shit. There we go. Good job, team. See, the thing is, like, when, when you really crank the intensity, even 10, 12, 15 seconds, can be very, very hard, but it's training a different energy system. So that's what we're doing, okay? We got 30 seconds break. Make sure that during your breaks, guys, exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose. Now, if you're around people, don't be doing that into their face. You shouldn't be around people anyways, all right? So make sure you bring that heart rate down. Don't do this, all right? Because that's just gonna make you get that heart rate up even more and not recover. We got 10 seconds squat jumps. Remember, every single squat jump as high as you possibly can. Okay. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Touch the ceiling, guys. Let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Get up there. Every jump, maximal jump. Every jump, maximal jump. Let's go. Maximal. Let's go. Leave that ground as high as you can, guys. Finish your strong. Got air there. Nice camp. Good job. Just explode and break. 
and breather. Shake it off. There we go. Such a big difference when you put maximum focus of intent into each rep. Right? That's what we're looking for, guys. Number three is going to be high knees. High knees. You're going to take Patty's paintball gun and shoot these guys so they're going fast. That's the plan. Why can't it be machete? That's, that's how I know you're doing it right. Why can't it be a machete? That's always been a great analogy. It's like I'm chasing you with machete. You got you to go. Right? But it's on the spot. 13 seconds, guys. Hey, listen. Start like the first couple seconds. Just ramp into it, but then go. Go all out. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Come on. Punch, 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 punch. Arms are punching. Arms are punching. Arms are punching, Arms are punching just as much. Use that power. Use that power. Go. Get, get, get. Come on. Drive, 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 drive. Come on. Finish strong, guys. Finish strong. Four, three, two, one. And break. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Last one, lateral hops. Remember, you pick and choose. Are you jumping over an object? You're going to be in the air a little bit longer. Or if you're going to not jump over an object, you're staying low. It's super, super fast, right? Now, the thing is, with this, like you, you want to be relaxed. So if you've ever seen a sprinter, right, in slow-mo, their face goes like, right? I know, exactly. So they're not tense because they have to stay relaxed to be fast, right? So don't tense up and do these drills. But be relaxed because that's going to allow you to be fast. Okay? Makes sense. Ten seconds. Let's get it ready. We got hops. We got hops. Get set. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice. So those guys are going high. Jess is going super fast and low. Nice. Bounce. 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 Stay elastic. Stay elastic. Stay elastic. There we go. Four, three, two, one. And break. Nice. Good job, guys. Way to work. We got one more round, just like that, guys. One more round. So four more minutes. Four times 15 seconds of work. We're back to lateral slides. Back to lateral slides. A big lesson. If you are doing any type of training, interval training, implement shorter bursts. Eight seconds, 10 seconds, 12, 15 seconds into your training. Different energy systems. I promise it's going to make you more explosive. Your conditioning will get better. A lot of different things, okay? We're not going to get too geeky, but just make sure you do it. Ten seconds, we're going lateral slides. Let's really try to keep that intensity up, guys. Let's keep it up. This is key. This is crucial. Going in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Nice. Good work, guys. Good work. Stay low. Stay low. Don't come up. Think like you're touching the ground. You're on the switch up. Kick back. Kick back. There you go. Use those hips. Let's go. Four, three, two. One, and break. Just, just ran it out the building right there. Good job, guys. Way to work. Way to work. Round two, squat jumps. Same thing. For some of you, you might just be getting in a groove right now, and you may be tired, but you're actually going to be more explosive, right? Body's warmed up. Nervous system is all ready to go, right? Don't, don't just get sloppy here and, like, bring the intensity down. Get after it. After this, we got a break, and then we're going to explain the next thing. Right, which is great. So we're gonna have breaks, appropriate breaks in between, so you guys can gather for the next thing. Okay, ten seconds. Let's get it ready. Squat jump as high as you possibly can. Erica Dixie, you better be working out hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> See you, Erica. <laughs> Three, Erica. two, one. Let's go. Up, straight up. Load those arms. Let those arms explode up. Right. Use your arms. Up, load, explode up. A lot of times people won't use their arms. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's get them. Finish strong, guys. Come on. Four. Three, two, one, and break. Nice. Way to work. There you go. Two more rounds on the fast and explosive. We got high knees, and then we got those lateral hops, and then we got a breather. All right, shake it off in between. One of the things that, especially when we're doing like explosive stuff, I like to shake the tension out. Right? I learned that from Pablo the first, the first time through. It's like shake the tension out. That's why you see athletes on the track. Like shaking the tension out, right? If they're stressed and te tense, you shake it out. <laughs> or you have those two that are just, you know, shaking the tension out through uh, expressive dance, which yeah. is cool too. You can do it that way. Less than 10 seconds to go, guys. High knees. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Punch, 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 punch. Keep those elbows in the box. Keep those elbows in the box. Keep them close. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. Drive that ground. Drive that ground. Drive that ground. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and break. Oh, I, I thought 
something that's coming. Yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, huh? Can we give me an extended burst? Last one, guys. We're doing lateral hops. Lateral hops. We did have a team uh, meeting last night, happy hour. Some vino was, was drunk, so, you know, it could be coming in now. Who knows? <laughs> Some, yeah. I say, I say that very, very held back. Some. Uh, but, guys, last one. Last set, best set, right? Anytime we do last set, last set, best set, it's like being in the fourth quarter. We step stuff up, right? We always bring it even more so at the end than we do at the beginning. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Touch and go. Touch and go. Touch and go. Save your last quick. Let's go. Bounce, 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 bounce. Nice. About to go JV there. Bounce, 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 bounce. Five, four, three, two, one, and three. Way to work, guys. Yes. Way to work. All right, I'm going to take a sip of Bang real quick. I know I'm looking at the FB, but I want to also make sure IG's getting that love. All right, guys, listen. Take a minute break. Just go get some water. Sip on stuff. We're going to come back, and I'm going to explain what we got next. Because it's about to get spicy. I'm going to steal this from you for a second. <clears throat> so, so. All right, guys. Keep breathing. Keep re relaxing. Keep resting as I explain this stuff. Susan said dynamic warm-ups are feeling like the workout. You know, it is, Susan. Just regular, yeah, it some is. regular vigor stuff. You ain't wrong. You already know. How we roll on Saturdays, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see my guy Tomas here from Slovenia. I've known that guy since like fifth grade. That's my guy. And he's got the last, uh, same last name as me. Bonus points, my dude. Hey, this, we're going to switch it up, guys. So, so this whole second part of the training session is completely different, right? A lot of time and attention, and we're doing density training. And this is actually a partner workout, but, but, if you don't have a partner, I'm your partner. You're okay. Jess is your partner, right? Jess is everybody's partner in life. Aww. Okay, I know. Oh, oh, you know, I'm feeling emotional Aww. right now. So check this out. So first density block. It's six minutes long. Okay. So you're gonna guys, you're gonna guys are gonna try to like work along with us, same rep schemes and, and cadence and stuff. If at any point in time, like you kind of lose that, I'll explain what to do. But we're going to do rare foot elevated split squats, or what a lot of people call Bulgarian split squats. So, actually, you know what, Jess, would you drag that one a little further so that everybody can see how the partner stuff is going to look like? So, me and Jess are going to start both at the same time, but she's going to start in a pause position. We're actually both going to start in a pause position. So, watch. Okay, you just need, you need to put your foot up on a chair or on a sofa, and if you don't have anything, you can actually just keep that foot in the back and kind of do a static lunge, right? But I'm pretty sure most of you have chairs and sofas at home. I really would hope so. Um, but here's the kicker. So we're both going to start at the bottom position. Right now, watch. I'm going to do, Jess is going to stay there waiting for me. I'm going to do one, two, pause. She's going to go, go. One, two. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And I'm going to wait for her. Go. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then once we do six and just does six, then we're going to switch sides, okay? See what I'm saying? So it's two, four, six. But while I do two, Jess is waiting. While Jess is doing two, I'm waiting, okay? So we go two, four, six, left side, two, four, six, right side, or whichever one you start. From there, we do the same thing with push-ups. I'll just, I'll just demonstrate two and four with Jess. So... Let's start down in a push-up position. So we're going to start here. I'm going to go. I just going to do two. Go. One, two. Then I'm going to go. One, two. I just going to go do four. And I'm going to do one, two, and three, four. Okay? Now, a couple of things. Okay? A couple of things. Depending on your fitness levels. Okay? If you're a beginner, if that might be challenging, you can do one, three, five. 
Okay, instead of two, four, six, you can do one, three, five. Obviously, you can go and put your go down and go on your knees down a level. If you feel, and trust me, you probably won't feel this way, but let's say you're like, oh man, Luca, that's too easy. I'm a savage, blah, 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 all that shit, right? So if you want to do that, then what you end up doing is you still do your pause, right? And then you go explosive and pause. Okay? Yeah. So if you want to have an advanced <laughs> level one, there you go. Okay? But you can also go one, three, five. Now, exercise number three is a hollow hold position for 20 seconds. We've done that one last week. You know what it is. Okay, we're just here. Low back pushes into the ground. Extend, point the toes, squeeze together. Around, look forward. If you want to make it harder, reach overhead. Okay? 20 seconds. Now this is a six minute set, meaning we're gonna still do this two, four, six, eight. So I'm gonna count it down for, for, for these guys. If you lose track and you're just doing it at your own pace, don't worry about it because it's a six minute block. You're trying to get as many rounds in six minutes. Now, like I said, these guys are gonna go, Jess and Cam are gonna start at the same time and just, like they're gonna be markers for your time. So try to stick with them, right? And know that they're already Pretty tired from this week, but doesn't matter because, like I said, it's that ISO position. So Patty needs a partner back there. So I'm following you too. No, so Patty, Patty's gonna follow the Jets. So you guys are tagging along. No, if you can stick there. with it, if you can't, that's okay. Remember, you could also t uh, follow along and go one, three, five, which just gives you a little bit more leeway, right? But remember, this is gonna be a six-minute block. We're gonna start because I'm looking at that timer, right? We're gonna start in 40 seconds, guys. So just get mentally prepped, get mentally prepared. Now, here's the kicker, okay? When you're doing, imagine that my back foot is up, but I don't want you resting all the way in the bottom position. I want you resting right about here. It's right above, it's right above 90 degrees because that's where my muscle is going to work the most, right? So we want to load the muscle as much as we possibly can rather than trying to skimp it, okay? 20 seconds and we're going. So I'm going to kind of stay focused between, I'm going to be right here, making sure they're on point, Making sure your guys on point, and we're gonna work. Ten seconds, guys. Let's get it ready. All right, cool. Set up that. Set up that Bulgarian. You see Patty in the back there, getting ready to shoot fat paintball. All right, go into the Bulgarian split spot position. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. So Jess is going one, two. Cam's going one, two. Jess four, two, three, four. And pause. Go one, two, three, four. And pause. Let's go six. One, two. Three, four, five, six, ah. pause, pause, there we go. Wait for Kim. And then once you guys are done, and switch it, let's go, other side. Get it ready, guess first, one, two, let's go. One, two, pause, let's go. One, two, three, four, go Cam, let's go. Nice. Ah. Woo, I got a spike. Here, go, I know. <laughs> Let's go, go, Cam. Cam's got long legs, so you already know. So longer way down right there. Let's go. Nice job, Patty. There we go. All right, pu push up position, guys. Let's go. Jess is going to do her reps first. Start it up. Remember, don't go all the way down on this push up. You want to be feeling the chest. Two, go. Nice. Go, Jess. Three, four, pause. Go. One, two, three, four. Patty, don't fly. Let's go, Jess. Six. Oh, baby. Let's go, Cam. Get your six. Let's go. You got it. You got it. Nice and long spine. Nice and long spine. And break. Flip it around, guys. Hollow uh. hold position. So now we rest the legs and we rest the upper body a little bit. We're going to hollow hold in three, two, one. Let's go. Push that low back into the ground. Remember, I shouldn't be able to put my, my hand under your low back because it's pushing into the ground. Get that core engaged. Point those toes, point those toes, guys. Point those toes. Let's go. Let it work, let it work. Stay focused, quality reps. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And break, popping back up on the Bulgarian, guys. 
Oh yeah. This is where it starts getting kind of crazy. Get it ready. Alright, this is gonna start off. Go. One, two, tap. Nice job. Great tempo, Jess. Get us out of Go. 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 There we go. So just yelling it out. You guys just stick with us. Yell it out to your partner. Let's go. Two. Three. All right, take a rep away. Yeah, switch it up. Other side. Get it ready. Let's go. And camp. Nice. Making sure. Go. Let's go. Great job, guys. Think about pushing the ground away. All right? Push the ground away. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Go. All right, let's go. There we go. There we go. Remember, if you need to switch it up to one, three, five, you can as we're going through this. Let's go. Push no, it. Do not switch it up. <laughs> I don't get to switch it up. You don't get to switch it oh. up. The fury is coming out from Jess. Let's go. One, two, Cam, let's go. One, two, get it. We love ISOs. Oh, man, go. Jess is going to the land of legends right now. Woo! Come on. Howdy's <laughs> in the land of legends with the pilot, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Finish those six. Two, three, four, five, six. Flip it around. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hollow hold position. Point those toes. You guys are doing great. There you go. I am counting. You guys are ready to rock. Let's go. Let's go. Push that low back into the ground, Jeff. There you go. Get that core to turn on more than the hip flexors. Push that low back into the ground. Let's go, guys. Push that low back into the ground. Be active with it. Almost there. We got 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Stick with it. Stick with it. Come on. Work, 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 work. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We got one minute and a half left. Back to Bulgarians. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get it ready. Go. One, two, yes, four. One, two, three, four. Can't go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Get it, guys. Get that six. Nice. Way to work. Way to use your arms on those. Like a sprinter. Nice, Patty. Way to drive that ground away. We got pause. Switch it up. Other side. Let's go. Way to work, guys. Go. One, two. One, two. Way to push through it. Way to push through it, Jess. Good job, Cam. Drive those hips. Let's go. Drive those hips. Patty has a cold face like nothing is going on. Come on, finish strong. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. Finish strong, man. Feel that whole foot. Try that down the way. You may not be giving up people over there in the internet. <laughs> Woo! Push-up position. We got 20 seconds. Let's go. You know what, guys? We're going to finish up this push-up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get it. Two. Come on. Two. Four. Let's go. Then can four. Nice, Patty. Way to leave that ground. Way to leave that ground. Sure. Get that six, Judge. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Long that, long that, long yeah. spot. Finish strong, Cam. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, and three. Oh, boy. Man. Was that six minutes or Lucas? That was six minutes. And four seconds. We had, we had a little extra four seconds because I didn't want you to not finish up. Why would I do that to you? Oh, man. Uh, Aurel from Bucharest, Romania. Hello, how are you doing? Alexander from... Oh, we got Tariq from Brazil. I'm loving this international party up in here. You guys better be going through this and suffering with the team. Look at Jess right there. Who wants to do my eyelashes? Like a phoenix from the ashes. All right, guys, listen. Quick break. Take a breather. Drink some water. Do what you got to do. We're coming back to number two. I'll explain it in a second. I'll explain it in a second. No, they don't know about Lenny. Oh, what? Oh. We'll, we'll have to do a whole IG story of the Lenny Legends. Explain. Explain you go to Lenny Legends. Oh. <laughs> I'm really glad I do legs. That was not. Yo, Patty looked like Tosh yesterday on that frozen picture. <laughs> <laughs> 
that stat that was so straight crazy. up just looking like I don't care about anything. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, we can do this. All right, guys. Check yeah. this out. Check this out. Throw me that thing real quick, Justin. Jesus. All right. So we're staying with, okay, we're staying with this concept. Okay, we're staying with this concept of density 2, 4, 6, 8. All right? But so what we're going to do is we're going to do squat jumps. So the same thing is everybody's going to start down in this position. So Jess is going to hit her two. Yeah. One, two. And then Cam and Patty are going to go two. And then it's four and it's six. All right, so it's two, four, six. <laughs> the second part is going to be band pull-aparts. Now, this is where if you have a band, fantastic. If you don't have a band, it'll be posterior shoulder raises. And you can use two water bottles, two books, something that's anywhere from like five to 15 pounds. If you have dumbbells, fantastic, right? So I'll show you the variation with the band pull apart first, and then I'll show you the shoulder raise variation also. So imagine that we're starting already ripped apart right here, and then I'm gonna go one, two, and pause. Other person goes one, two. I go one, two, three, four, and pause. Notice, like look, straight line right so I'm not overextending my arm okay and I'm also not rounding okay now you with this one I did the double band which is harder but you could go single band ripping apart the kicker is that I'm squeezing my I'm keeping my spine nice and tall right so I'm not doing this I'm nice and tall I'm ripping it apart and I'm feeling like squeezing between my shoulder blades like if I put a finger in between your shoulder blades you got to squeeze that remember how we talked about clavicles ripping apart that's what you want to feel, right? So we're countering all this pushing that we're doing, right, with push-ups just in general with body weight. And we're getting that upper back in good shoulder position. Same thing, two, four, six. Trust me, this is going to add up. Our third drill, okay, is going to be a core drill. We're doing a grappler sit-up. So grappler sit-up, we're down on the ground. If anybody's ever done jujitsu, I'm a big jujitsu fan, okay? You're in this position, and you're looking through, okay? You're not laying down. You're looking through your legs. You are not, so this is what you're not doing. You're not bringing your knees to you, okay? Your knees are staying here. I'm gonna reach and try to touch my heel. Reach, touch my heel. Right, so I'm using my ab to get there. I'm not doing this, because that's now helping me out. So I'm trying to get there, okay? Because like in Jiu Jitsu, I can hear, and then I, ah! So, yeah, you know what I mean? All right, so we're doing 20 seconds of that. Okay, we're doing 20 seconds of that, and then we're right back to our squad jumps, band pull aparts. Okay, six minutes, guys. The burn's gonna get real on this one. Cam's like, I'm just gonna sit down here and keep sitting down. All right, let's get it ready, guys. We got 35 seconds before we start going. Oh, real quick, if you're doing, what, what, what was I thinking? If you have two water bottles, if you have, you're gonna be in a posterior position, and you're gonna start here, and then you can go one, two, and then hold. And then one, two, three, four, and then hold, right? Same thing, upper back, engaged, right? So if you have something, books, water bottles, that's your variation for it. 10 seconds, let's get it ready, guys. Let's get it ready. Squat jump position. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice and pause it, go. Two. Still want to get that air, guys. Still want to be intentional. Don't get sloppy, right? Leave the ground. Get as high as you can. This is important, right? Get as high as you possibly can on this. Yo. Nice. Good job, Jeff. There we go. Getting that six. Let's go. Getting up there. Getting up there. Great job, guys. Great job. Grab a band. Grab a band. We're going to go at a time. So everybody pull the band apart first. Let's go pull it apart. And then chest goes two, let's go. Squeeze the shoulder blades, don't slap yourself. Or maybe two, who knows? There we go, get four. Two, three, four, hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Be intentional about that squeeze. Rip those clouds from the part. Elbows are long, guys. Get that six. Remember, don't keep the elbows bent, right? Keep them long. Let's go. No, still, yes. the hardest thing. Oh yeah, I know. Jess is getting the brunt there. But you know what, the shoulders are in great position. Woo let's go. Grappler sit-ups, 20 seconds in three, three, two, one, let's go. Even less, Cam, get the feet a little bit wider apart and go for the heel. Go for the heel. 
Get more tension. Get more tension. Let's go. Let's go. Remember, use your abs to get there, guys. Use your abs to get there. In that bottom guard position, grappler style. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Popping back up. Squat position. Let's go. We're going to get a couple of seconds so everybody gets into it. Get ready. Get, get it. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Get that air. Nice job, Cam. Nice, guys. Ready to get up there, Patty. Let's work. Let's work, guys. Let's work. Let's work. Get that six. Get that six. He is sticking with it, guys. Being intentional and sticking with it. Get that power output. Nice. Band pull apart. Let's go. Start with the band pull apart. Ready? And let's go. Get that two. Nice. We're going to talk a little bit about the, the eye of the storm at the end and staying focused in there. Come on. Rip it apart. Good. Make sure even when you get tired, quality posture. This is where it's really, really important. Let's go. Get your six. You got it, Jess. You got it, Jess. Come on. There we go. There we go. And hold. Let's go. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right. Go on the elbow, Patty. Go on the elbow, Patty. Good, 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 good. Abs on, abs on, abs on. And break. Oh, oh boy. If you got to go wider on the band to reduce resistance, that's what you do. Ready, set, let's go. Use those abs. You should be feeling like rectus abdominis right here. This is a burn exercise. It's definitely a burn exercise. Don't rock back too much. Not going into extension with that low back. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Five, four, three. Two, one, and break. Popping up. It's going to take a little bit longer breather before we start this. So shake it off a little bit. Shake it off a little bit. You guys get a little bit of a breather in here, too, before you go. They're doing a great job. Stay focused. All right, get it ready. Set. Let's go. Nice. Push those hips back. Athletic stance. Good. Nice, chest. Good work. There we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Get your six. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go, Patrick. Let's go. Yes. Let's go, team. Let's go. Get after it. Get after it. Get after it. Get after it. Oh, bam, pull apart. Remember, go a little bit wider if you need to, guys. If you want to have good form, find that tension for yourself. Get it ready. Pull it apart. Just go two. Oh, there we go. Nice. Keep those abs and glutes on, guys. So glutes are on, abs are on. We're not having any body language here. Let's go finish that six. Nice, guys. Hold, hold, hold. Let's go. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on. Hold that position. You got it. You got it. Come on. Good job, buddy. Good job, Cap. Six. Nice. Grappler sit-ups. <laughs> That's how you do it. Ready? Let's go. Oh, three. Remember, be, think about as you're reaching, reach with those abs. Reach with those abs, right? Don't rock and use momentum, right? Use your, your muscles. Use that core. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. You got a minute left, guys. One minute left. Come on. One more round of squat One more round, round of pull apart. Get it ready. Set. Two. Go. Great job, there you go, getting up there. Nice, Jess. Yes. Way to work, man, way to work, way to work, way to work. Good, there we go. Let's go, guys, let's go, let's go. And break, band pull aparts, we got 30 seconds. Let's get it in, finish strong on the band pull aparts, guys. Ready, rip it. Go, two, can body two. Just four. Nice. Ah. Let's go, Patty. Good. Finish it off with that six. Let's go. Two, three. Ah. Come on, you guys. Just four, five. Nice. Six. Hold, hold. Come on. Ah. Two, three, four, five, six. Buzzer beater and break. Ah. Nice job, yo. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. Listen, we got one more round, guys. Get a sip of water.
your hey, life. Real quick, real quick, guys. Hey, for uh, so I'm assuming you see it everywhere. Make sure you go to. I know I should have like ramped on this at the beginning, but if you can go to www.allinseattle.org, allinseattle.org, you guys will see the link on Facebook. You'll see the link on uh, IG. I'll also post and do a slide up on my story. All in Seattle. So it's basically so uh, an organization that got started to help those most in need in Seattle, and that means like, oh let's let's see, real quick, real quick. Uh, set up the live again. So yeah, we just have to set up a live on IG again. Uh, basically, it's for those most in need. Everything from, like I said, families that need food to small businesses. If you can actually go there and choose who you want to donate to, because there's four different options. But all we ask is like a minimum ten dollar donation, like we do every charity uh, team training Saturday here at Bigger Ground. Uh, that's what we've always done. Like I said, I can't make you do it. I'd really, really appreciate it if you do. Uh, one of the key things that and, and I'll, I'll say this a little bit more about this at the end but contribution is so 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 important and thinking outwardly in this time I think is one of the most crucial things that we can do and so rather than like me 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 we think about how we can help other people and when everybody does that just a lot of great things happen so go to www.allinseattle.org and donate whatever you can we really appreciate it like I said, together, like, you know, by, by yourself, and it, you may feel like it's not much, but together, it's a lot, right? Because individually, we're not, we're only but a drop, but together we're the ocean. So always remember that. All right, now listen up. Before we, because we're going to go into this last one. This last one is, oh boy, all right? It's a little shorter. It's a little shorter on the density side of things. But it's only two exercises. But man, oh man, is it the real deal? All right, so those guys got a, everybody got a kettlebell? Uh, no. All right, grab a kettlebell. Uh, so this is where, like I said, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, I'm going to take, let, let's, uh, real quick, let me take the zombie. So check this out. It's two exercises, all right? One of them is going to be a lateral bear crawl mirror, right? Now, if you don't have a partner, it's okay, because you're going to be able to do, we're doing 20 seconds of this. So you can just, I would say, I'll explain how you can change this up. But I'm going to do this with, actually, uh, Cam, go at like right there, just where you're able to look at. All right, so Cam, Cam and Jess are going to uh, be facing each other, but I'm going to show you a demo of me and Cam doing this. So I'm going to be the person, so this is going to all change. She's going to be following me as a bear crawl ladder. All right, so we're here, we're watch. Make noises. And then we could go, I can slow it down, I can speed it up. <laughs> right? Okay, so, we're, so we're just mirroring. Okay? If you're by yourself, you're just gonna go laterally and switch speeds, do whatever you want to, but you're gonna stay in that bear crawl position for 20 seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the timer. And then from there, we're going to now like I said, if you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're good. If you, if you don't have one, you're good too, but I'll show you with the equipment first. So we're still going to keep with that two, four, six, eight ISOs. So I got the Onyx Zombie belt right here too, looking at you, looking at you. And so with that, I'm going to deadlift this and be in this pause position. So notice, like I'm driving, my low back is nice and flat. My spine is long. I have great posture. So this is what's really important. Great, great form. I'm actually pushing the ground away to feel my hamstrings and butt, right? So I'm here in that pause position, pushing my hips back, bells right in between my knees, chins packed. And then I'm going to go one, two. And then I'm going to go here and pause. And then Cam would do her two, right? She'd do her two, and then i go one, two, three, Four, and then pause again, right? And then six, okay? So if you have a bell, if you have a dumbbell, you're doing that, right? Find that position where you feel hamstrings and glutes and not your low back. If you do not have that, we're going to do a, like basically we call these deadlift jumps. But imagine pushing your butt as far back as you possibly can, like you're going to do a deadlift, and you're pausing that position. So you're pausing here, and then you can go one, pop back, 
two, and then we're pausing again. And I even like to put my hands here like I'm holding a bar, right? Imaginary bar, I'm pulling it in, feel the back side, and you're gonna do your jump, two, four, six, eight, uh, sorry, two, four, and six, okay? Same thing, if you have, like, the thing is, if you have like two water bottles or some, like a backpack, whatever, right, use it, just use some type of load, right? Just use some type of load. So, with that said, we're gonna do bear crawl mirrors. Now this one, guys, this one's a five minute set, so it's a little bit shorter, right? It's a little bit shorter, but still, trust me, like it's gonna get spicy, right? It's gonna get real spicy. So we're gonna get started in 30 seconds, guys. What is Patty is their partner for this one? Patty's So remember, 20 seconds, guys. If you don't have a partner, you're just going lateral bear crawls. And you can switch the temples up a little bit. But if you have a partner, this is even more fun. Now stay six feet away, okay? And look each other in the eye in an uncomfortable way. That's part of the key to this, okay? Building your, your deep relationship. All right. If you hate your spouse right now, it's a good bonding. Absolutely. Great bonding exercise. I'm not one to talk. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go in 20 seconds. Let's start getting it ready. Let's start getting it ready. We're going to do lateral bear crawls first, okay? The key to on a bear crawl is, guys, imagine there's a, a bottle of water on your low back and you're not trying to spill it, right? So I'm still trying to keep that good posture and not be all over the place, okay? 10 seconds, get it ready. Get set. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Just laterally, there we go, there we go. Nice. Yo, just try to switch direction when you try to switch direction, Patty. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Ten seconds left. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, oh my God. one, and break. Get it ready. Deadlift position. Deadlift position. I'll give you guys the count. So get ready and start in the ISO in three, two, one. Let's go. Just go. Two. Pause where you feel it. Feel that whole foot on the ground. Good, four. Nice. There we go. Get your six. There we go. Nice, Jess. Two more. Feel that whole foot on the ground. And pause. Go. Two, three, four, five, six. And brave. <laughs> Shaking it off real quick. Get ready for the bear crawls. Let's go. On the ground. Give me a second. Going in three, two, one, and let's go. Lateral bear crawls. Stay with them. Stay with them. Stay with them. Let's go. You got it. You got it. Great job, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. It burns. It burns. Four, three. Two, one, and break. Stand up, shake it off. Oh, man. Get it ready, get it ready, get it ready. Going for Dez, going for Dez. Get set. Let's go get into that ISO position. Three, two, one, and let's go. Go, Cam. Keep that belt right below you. Load those hips up. Let's go. Two, three, four. Let's go. Good. If you have to shorten the range of motion a little bit, guys, that's okay. Like I said, feeling the hamstrings and glutes. Now feeling it in the low back. Feel that whole foot. Go, six, let's go. Nice job. Pull yourself into it. Good job, guys. Let's go. And last one. And break. Nice. Let's go. Shaking it off a little bit. Shaking it off a little bit. Guys, go break. I'm going to give you a little bit longer breather on this. Lateral bear crawls are no joke. Are no joke. Getting started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Keep that low back flat, guys. Remember, a bottle of water on your low back. You got it, Jess. Come on. Less than 10 seconds to go. Less than 10 seconds to go. Slow it down if you need to. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. You just failed that time. <laughs>
Great job. Let's go. Shake it off. Stand up. We're going to give you guys a little bit of a breather. We're going to give you a little bit of a breather before we go. Shake it off. Remember, shake that tension out. This is where quality form matters more than ever. Remember, we talked about being in the eye of the storm. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Get that pause. Good. Go, Cam. Nice. Push that ground away. Remember when you're dead. Go. When you are pushed, when you are deadlifting, think about pushing the ground away. Don't think about pulling. Think about pushing. Nice. Good job, Patty. Good job. Great, Cam. Go. Get the six. Get the six. Go. Let's go, Cam. Finish strong. Push that ground. Push that ground. Two. Come on. Push that ground. Three. Four. Come on. Last two. Drive the ground away. Last one. And break. We got 50 seconds. Let's, let's try to get a set of uh, bear crawls and a set of deadlifts in. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get set. Three, two, one. Let's go. Slow it down a little bit, guys. Slow it down. Slow, smooth. Go smooth. Go smooth. Ball's fine. Let's go, Jess. Come on. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. You got it. You got it. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Pop up. Let's finish with this. Let's go. Last thing we got. Last thing we got, guys. Get it ready. Get it ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go, Cam. Go, Patty. There we go. Go, Jess. Get the four. Feel everything you want. Let me tip go. Great job. Let's go sit back. Let's go sit back. Feel the whole crowd. Don't go as low. Let's go. Finish this. We're almost there, guys. Just finishing it off. Go, go, let's go. Drive. Two, three, four, five, and six. And break. Oh, man. Listen, way to do work. Real quick, there will be no finisher today. There will be no finisher today because this damn workout was a, a full-blown finisher from start to finish. I don't know. Like, guys, listen, let me know. Did you love that? And I say, you know, you can write whatever you want. Look at Jess. Once they like, it's like basically Sparta kicked me right in the back right now. She does. She does. All right. There's also some st stuff written here that I do not understand because it's uh, my uh, Cyrillic is not really that great. Although I knew I knew how I used to know how to read that, but I don't anymore. But thank you for joining us from Russia, my friends, and from Ukraine. I appreciate it. So hey, listen, listen, guys. I talked about this as far as being an eye in a storm, right? When you're in a tornado, inside of the eye, it's calm. Like that's how you have to like the training like this. And being really focused and intentional helps you do that. Like, what are we doing right now in life? Shit's crazy, right? It's crazy. Everything around us is crazy. So you have to be calm and clear inside the eye of the storm, right? Taking care of your body physically, taking care of mentally your mind and your emotionally, right? Like your emotions allows you to do that. So it's important, guys. It's important right now that you're eating right. It's important right now that you're getting your sleep. It's important that you're putting positive things inside of here, which means, hey, what are you reading? Who are you surrounding yourself? Are you reading too much news and negative shit? Stop doing that, right? Like make sure that you're doing the right things and you're putting the right seeds inside the soil so that you can be calm in the eye of the storm, right? Training like this, when it gets really, really hard, but you got your team and you're like, hey, listen, like stay focused, stay zoned in, right? Think about the next rep. That's the only thing that matters is the next thing, the thing right in front of you, focus on that. You're training that all the time. This is just not physical, like, let me beat your ass up type of training. This is also t training this, right? Because when things get hard in life, you'll, be, you'll know that you can overcome it. You'll know that you can keep focused, good form, intentional form. Because this, right, like I said, when I learned in the weight room, transfers over to life, guys. So remember that, okay? Because it's so, so, so important. It's more important than ever, right? It's always important, but it's more important than ever right now. And remember, there are three things. This is, I, I think that like, whenever you're in doubt, there's three intrinsic motivators of human beings. Three, okay? And you start with C. Number one, competence. If you get better at stuff, that fires you up. That makes you more motivated. It makes you better. What are we doing right now? We're getting better. Getting more competent with our physical body and our mental self, right? Competence is one. Number two is contribution. 
That's why, listen, that's why we do, we've done charity boot camps now, team trainings for 11 years, over 600 we've done. And we're always giving because we want to contribute to the community, to people that need it more than we do. And there's always people that need it more than we do, no matter how, you know, I would say down we are and how bad things are going. So contribution is the second one. We feel connected. We feel, we feel I would say, intrinsically motivated when we contribute. So please go to www.allinseattle.org and donate. There's a couple of options, whichever one you want to do. Um, please do that in exchange for, like I said, us uh, beating your ass. And number three, number three, the C, which might be the most important, I believe is the most important, which is connection, right? And that's why we show up even when we're isolated and quarantined. We show up with, uh, once again, we got hundreds of people from all over the world working out with us. I'm sure more people will watch this when, uh, you know, as it's saved. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts, you know, with, for joining us, for suffering with us. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for donating. And we will see you here next Saturday, every damn Saturday. Oh, yeah. Big and Round Team. Rise as one on three. One, two, three. Rise, Rise as one. one. Woo. Peace out. Find us on IG. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs>